Hey guys, how's it going? This is Patrick. Uh, some people know me as Caribou Hunter 64, and it has been a long ass time since I commentated. So uh, I just got this game recently. Uh, it's an arcade game called Gotham City Imposters. I'm sure many of you already know this game, have already played it, but um, I have some friends that I've been telling about this game, and uh, they sort of want to see what it looks like and see how it plays and shit like that. So I thought I would uh, go ahead and commentate this, tell you what I'm doing in the round, shit like that. Um, the reason I haven't put up a commentary in forever is because I really just don't even see the point. Because I've been playing, you know, primarily Call of Duty, and there are more people on Call of Duty today that understand the game than ever before. So I don't think there's really any reason for me to like give tips or. Uh, commentate as if you know I'm giving people something new because there's so many commentators out that are doing the same thing so what's the point but I want to tell you guys a little about a little about this game Gotham City Imposters it's like you know a Batman style game but it's like a cartoony first-person shooter in the style of Call of Duty uh, you get like you know two perks or as they call them fun facts in this uh, which can you know make you take less damage from bullets, you know, increase your explosive damage, shit like that, but, uh, they also have gadgets, which are essentially, like, I don't know what it would be in Call of Duty, like a, a, a support item or something, but they have gadgets, like, as you can see, I'm using the grappling hook in this round, which is one of my favorite gadgets, because it can get you to pretty much any position on the map, I mean, granted, it takes a little while to, um, like, fly across there, people can shoot you during but uh to me it's a much better option than like the spring boots there's also some spring boots that like make you jump really high up in the air and it shoots you outward um and stuff like that but uh for me this is better the spring boots while you're jumping and that guy gets me um while you're jumping with the spring boots you can't shoot or anything i mean it's the same way with a grappling hook but I mean, the grappling hook, you actually have to, like, reel yourself in with the, like, you know, the grappling hook, so, um, I don't know, yeah, I, I think of the spring boots, if you could shoot, uh, while you were springing outward, then it would be pretty awesome, but, um, like I've been saying, I have been really, really enjoying playing this game, and it's lighthearted, it's, like, I mean, the reason I haven't been so into Call of Duty lately is just because I get super pissed off when I play that game because I don't know I don't know how to explain it. I mean, there's just so many people trying to play with tactics that are not unfair, but kind of like I don't know. People just use overpowered weapons. I'm tired of seeing people with golden ACRs and MP7s and shit like that. Anytime I see those setups with Blind Eye Assassin or something like that, I'm just like, man, this is so fucked up. But as you can, I know there's a spawn there, right there, and uh, I kill one guy, drop down with this shotgun, and this shotgun is an absolute beast. You can take people down pretty damn quickly with it. But uh, what happened there was I had about 50 health, and this guy used his cape to do a dive bomb attack. You can uh, use the glider rig, is what they call it, and uh, see, he does it right here. Boom. He came smack me with that glider rig, and I still killed him. So, if you're a heavy character, there's like five different body types. If you're a heavy character, you can uh, use the dive bomb attack with the glider rig and do like, I want to say like 100 to 120, maybe even 130 damage just with that dive bomb attack. So, a lot of people really like to glide around, and the way you uh, get up in the air is you either hit a trampoline, or there are these little air vents on the on every level that you can walk over and hit the left bumper and it'll open your glider and shoot you up into the air. Uh, there are also things like targeting goggles where uh, you can like put the goggles on and target people or paint them is what they would be it would be called in Call of Duty um, and it'll show but it actually makes the characters themselves on the enemy team like glow so it's pretty cool uh, all the gadgets are really fun this game is really cool to mess around with but I think I'm out of time here so if you like the video leave it a like rating and as you can see they do this little lineup of the top three players every round so everything about this game is really fun I highly recommend you go get it it's only like 15 bucks so check it out tell me what you think take care guys I'll see you later